Hello, I'm calling all the Apple sheep out there. Apple just released a $99 case. Yes, yes, we do take credit, debit, Bitcoin, kidneys, and even puppies. Yes, we'll see you soon. So, let's check it out. Oh, no, no, not you. I was talking to all the Apple haters. For $100, this deserves a fancy unboxing. Wham, bam, suit, click, boom. Made of the all-familiar European leather found in Apple's leather case, it's almost literally this case, but with a sheet of leather glued to it. That's mother courage right there. The thin flexible leather wraps all around the outside, and there's a luxurious microfiber interior because $1,000 phones deserve nothing less. To install, go topside first, then squeeze the bottom corners in place. Damn, I'll have to admit, it's sleek. Like the original leather cases, there are fancy metal button covers which have this hard edge to feel them out. Oh yeah. <clears throat> it has a clicky response and they just feel very premium. There's a tight meat worker cutout, but thanks to the thin case, it's still easily accessible. An exact cutout around back for the camera, which is fat enough to keep your lens raised off surfaces. A complete cutout along the bottom, which may be concerning, but the corners are folded in, and now the back flap overlaps to keep the whole edge lifted too. And finally, the front screen is covered with that folio flap. Some details worth pointing out on the case, there's clean stitching around the whole outer edge of the case, glued and sealed edges to prevent any fraying, and stiffens the case up to hold its structure even when empty, the curved edges to cut down to the size of the X only, and thanks to the flexible material, the volume buttons can still be accessed when closed shut. But of course, the main reason you'd want this the same reason you're still single it's what's on the inside that counts the first being a dedicated card holder that apple carves out with these two stitching points and although apple doesn't indicate exactly how many cards you should hold in it i was able to fit four cards comfortably before it started to bulge too much they do recommend you keep your cards in this pocket as the magnet right under it may demagnetize your cards if used in the other pocket and of course, keep in mind that the more you put in, the more the leather will stretch to that, which means when you decide to carry less, this will happen. The pocket behind is great for cash, receipts, tickets, or whatever other flat objects you carry with you. Oh, that, oh, that doesn't, uh, I don't use, no. It's fairly spacious, as large as the iPhone X's screen, but bills will require three folds to be hidden. Unless you want to show off, because having this case is basically a symbol of wealth. But here's what surprised me. With any other case holding four cards and some bills, it would have tripled the size of the iPhone. Thanks to the thinner, more flexible leather and layout of these pockets, it just about doubles it visually, but it feels as slim as if the case were to be empty since the bulk is all centered. The edges don't bulk out, which still makes it manageable to hold one-handed, and during usage folded back as well. Thanks to that smooth leather finish though, even with four cards, it slides in and out of pockets without an issue. The auto screen locking still works even with that bulk and it's still safe to use with wireless chargers as your cards are on the front. But before you scroll down to comment Apple sponsored or you suck or cut your hair, it's not all fun and games. The case does not double as a stand, commonly found on other folio cases, but it's a trade-off I assume they made to keep the case as thin as possible with more flexible material that wouldn't be able to hold the weight of the iPhone. Then, although there is a magnet for the auto on off of the screen, it doesn't keep the cover closed in place, which only bothers me because I found the cover to move around really easily, whether in the hand or in the pockets, that caused the auto screen locking to trigger, which isn't a huge issue other than a slight hit to your battery life with it constantly going on and off. And finally, there isn't a speaker cutout on the front for calls, but honestly, due to the slight bulging of the case, it leaves enough room to just stick your ear right up to it and take the damn call. But if you still can't hear them, flipping the cover around back works just fine, mainly because the pocket layouts are designed with privacy in mind, keeping everything covered from prying eyes. And I know what you're gonna say, you got 73 likes on an Instagram photo and you're a pro photographer now, and this case is gonna block the camera making it very, very, very hard to take photos. But once you stop b Again, thanks to the thinner leather Apple uses, you're able to slide it back a bit when folded around. Unlike other stiffer folio covers that require you to leave the cover hanging, you can still take your washroom selfies one-handed. Yeah, it's not pretty and it'll take some getting used to, but it works. That's more than I can say for most folio cases. In the end though, if you do drop it, a folio is designed to give 360 degrees of coverage, but the lack of the front cover locking in place may be a gamble. The leather shell does have a lip around the screen, and there is the stiffened leather edges that jut out around the whole case, so you can do this.
If you're still worried though, I highly recommend you pairing this with a screen protector like the one from Rhino Shield that I smashed with a hammer without any issues. What you will notice with the leather after all that abuse is wear and tear a lot quicker than say plastic, but generally it's a good thing, it shows character. Although the apple cases may show it a lot quicker than other leather cases due to its thin leather, at least you can break the ice at social outings with evidence explaining that one time you dropped your phone while fighting off three bad guys. Or you know, while taking an intense dump. Personally I think it's a well thought out case that prioritizes the usability of the phone over packing in extra features. Yes, it is $100, but in the realm of leather folios, it's actually not that bad when you consider other quality ones are in the $60 to $80 range, and then you gotta factor in the Apple tax. So what I'm trying to say here is, there are other affordable options such as the Nomad or 12 self line of cases, but if you're a true Apple sheep and have the cash to burn, then you will 100% not be disappointed with this case. That's it, if you love what you see and want to support me in creating more reviews, check out my new store linked below where you can buy accessories and merchandise like this toque and shirt, along with old accessories I no longer use and you can pick up at a bargain price. Like and subscribe if you want to see more, and leave a comment below letting me know what case you want me to review next. I rest my case.